you may have guessed. Uh, welcome to episode 24 of Good Evening with Pat Whalen. Can you believe it? No. Oh, hey. Everything okay? Should we take it again? No, we're all right? All right, I'll just, uh, keep, I'll keep, just keep going. Uh, welcome to episode 24. It's a special fear edition because it is going to be Halloween soon. I'm not, I'm not sure if you know. Some people said, you know, it's a little early to do a fear-based episode, but, uh, Long story short, thanks for not going to the Cubs game. Thanks for coming here. Uh, they are down right now. It's uh, 25 to 2, I believe, is the score. But that's no problem. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just uh, move right on here. Uh, are you all well? Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, let's just uh, get right into it. I have some very important things to go over with you. And we'll begin with France's Prime Minister, Manuel Valls. <laughs> He has uh, warned of the possibility of new attacks in his home country after having foiled two planned attacks already just this past month. And uh, while the news shook uh, many French citizens, Valls did uh, his best to set minds at ease this past week by reporting France as their best men on the case. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're going to get to the bottom of it. That's uh, the food. The food. Uh, and what's, what's next? I don't know. I like to keep it fresh here. We haven't rehearsed anything. Oh, doves. Doves. That's great. Uh, it was reported this week that doves, you know doves, they're birds. It was reported that releasing white doves at weddings is killing them. Huh? Yeah, we're, we're hard hitting here. Yeah, it's killing these doves because these birds are raised in captivity. They're not, they're not prepared to fly around in the wild. They're not prepared to survive. So it turns out wedding bells are what it sounds like when doves cry. <laughs> it's not copyright infringement if I sing it. But it's kind of a good metaphor, right, for, for marriage. I mean, take two poorly equipped individuals and send them out into a cruelly impartial world and say, I'm sure this won't end poorly. <laughs> Too soon. Uber, you don't know Uber, right? You took it to get here. Uber has announced that their driverless cars they're testing in Pittsburgh, they all have human monitors inside of them. Do you hear this? They have driverless cars in Pittsburgh, but there's someone sitting in the driver's seat acting like they're driving. Their hands are just above the wheel. Yeah, so other drivers on the road don't freak the hell out that no one's driving a car in Pittsburgh. Uh, so rest assured, guys, uh, citizens of Pittsburgh, when the robot Uber you're driving loses Wi-Fi, crashes into the river, You'll have company. Like, there'll be someone else in there with you. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, Shell, we all know Shell, right? They're, um, they're nice people. Uh, Shell <laughs> announced their controversial plans to begin drilling 1.8 miles beneath the Gulf of Mexico, making it the deepest underwater oil field in the world, actually. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, when asked for comment, Mark Wahlberg replied, no one told me we were making a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't signed the contract yet. It was a surprise. We're, we're breaking this news to you right now, actually. The NSA, I'm not familiar, the NSA, uh, an acronym of some kind, is under fire after the FBI secretly arrested a former National Security Agency contractor in August and is investigating whether he stole and disclosed highly classified computer code developed by the agency to hack into networks of foreign governments. And while he did decline for comment, Edward Snowden's stifle laughter spoke volumes. <laughs> he did what? Did, no, he didn't. Did he? <laughs> Russia's gonna be pissed. Speaking of Russia, the Syrian government <laughs> woo, has released a promotional video saying that while the besieged city of Aleppo has been dubbed the world's most dangerous city, it still boasts a vibrant nightlife. This is true. In part of the city, there's still a lot of nightlife going on. With videos of DJs performing at a packed club. Aleppo, party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Who are you mad at? <laughs> is it me? I think this is displaced anger. Uh, everyone's heard about these clowns, right? Uh, clowns? Woo, yeah! <laughs> Great, well, somebody likes it, that's good. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there have been some terrifying clown sightings all over the country in the past few weeks. 
Some have tried to lure children into the woods with balloons. Some were just slowly waving to people from inside a cemetery. Like that guy. Yeah, this is real. Uh, like I said, these are not isolated incidents. Uh, dangerous clowns have been seen stalking people all over the country, from here in Chicago to New England, uh, even in Washington, D.C. <laughs> show for you tonight, guys. Great show. An interview with Robin Amer, deputy, deputy editor of the Chicago Reader. <laughs> Music from Gramps the Vamp. Back again. Back again stage. That's right. And uh, please, if you will, welcome up a good friend of the show, a repeat uh, performer here. Uh, welcome up our good friend to talk about uh, voting. Please welcome Ike Holter. Hey, I. What's up? Not much, man. Um, so this the uh, voting thing. Mm -hmm. What? Um, what is that? I'm not, I'm not familiar. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> uh, um, Mr. Whalen, what's your uh, uh, what's your status? Well, I'm straight, personally, okay. um, so, but um, I am, I was quite curious in college, <laughs> but I, um, that was just a phase. <laughs> Are you registered? The reg no, you I, I don't, I don't like guns. No. Okay, so, I'm honestly here to talk about voting, okay? So, we're talking about, you know, registered to, be to vote. To I see, oh, voting! Yes, I see. Uh, okay, yeah, that. Is that a... Uh, you don't sound registered. Well, it just sounds... Yeah. It's just a very sounds difficult... Like process. You have to go to the post office. You gotta get a blood test. You know, mother's maiden name and fingerprints. And I don't have time for that, man. I'm a talk show host. Okay, actually, so, so I have like this... Like this. <laughs> it's, um, to be perfectly frank, it's yeah. pretty fucking simple. Oh. Um, it took me longer to get on Team Valor than it did to, like, actually, like, pull out my shit. Uh, it is literally a page. Pokemon it's Go reference number one. Please, Pokemon, no, Pokemon, more like Pokemon Go to the polls. Oh! oh! Um, it is it is literally a, a page. You can do it on your phone. You can do it online. It does look it is, pretty simple. It is a page long, and look at it. It it, it mighty morphs and power ranges itself into a. You just mail it like that. Thing. You put a stamp on it. I don't have a stamp with me, but you put a stamp on it. I don't either. It. It's pretty fucking simple. So so you know, I'm just here to like. Um, tell you how fucking simple it is. And I think you know actually how fucking simple it is. Yeah. I don't think that's a problem. I don't I don't I don't I don't think that's like, you know, the the, the troubling point here. No, I well I, it's it's not a troubling at all. It sounds very simple. It just um, sounds like you don't give a fuck. Well I do I do <laughs> Because it takes like two minutes. I just it just I'm sounds like you're like very, very busy uh, writing uh, funny things about Aleppo. Uh, <laughs> Takes up a lot of my time, uh, but you're you're gonna be here all night. I'll right? be here. You're gonna be sure. helping people to get registered to vote. And actually, I will help these people. If you are <laughs> strong enough and brave enough to tell us here, because I, I think a lot of, there might be a lot of stigma. People might be like, oh yes, of course I'm registered, uh, but they're not like me. Um, but if you do sign up to register to vote, you are gonna get uh, a, a prize here at Good Evening, and we're, we're gonna give it to you. So if anyone registers to vote here with Ike Holter tonight. Uh, please see me after the show and uh, collect your prize. Um, Ike, you'll be here all night. I'm chilling. Drinking a little Sutter home. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna be over here, but then after the show, we're gonna party and uh, drink with you and get registered to vote. Who isn't registered to vote? No, who is registered to vote? Yeah. Those people didn't raise their hand. That's okay, they'll come and see you, and then we'll get a prize. Okay. It'll be fantastic. Uh, we're gonna welcome you back up in not too short an order, but please give it up for Ike Holter, everybody. It's great. He's an ambassador uh, for voting. That is not funny. Are we? Is it the clowns? Are we? Are we okay? I didn't see clowns. Okay. Um, Let's uh, let's just move on. Can we move on? Do we need to stop? <laughs>